Salam Jamian, we are starting a new chapter. It's about limits. Of course, we had we had a revision about function, everything about function, like domain parity and all these things. Uh, uh, let's just, just start by an activity. If you have the function f of x equal to 2 over x minus 1. At first, if you need to find the domain of definition, of course, you have to say that x should be not equal to 1. The domain of definition will be any re any real number except 1. So it's minus infinity 1 union with 1 plus infinity. In this function, you, you can sure calculate, for example, f of 3. You will obtain three over 2 over 3 minus 1, 2 over 2 of is 1. You can calculate f of 0. f of 0 equal 2 over 0 minus 1 equal minus 2. You can calculate f of 5. You can replace x by any number except 1. But the question is, what if x is very close to 1? What if x is tends to 1? We say that x is near to 1. What is the value of f of x? What is the value of f of x uh, when x tends to 1? When x tends to 1, there is no exact value of f of x. Approximately how much? Approximately how much you call it as the limit. Limit of f of x when x tends to 1. It means, well, what if x is very, very close to 1, but not 1? Uh, can you calculate f of x? Of course. What's the answer? We will learn how to find the answer. But you can, you, you can, you, you should know that x can be very close to one, but uh, but x is greater than one, like 1. 1.000. It's not it's noted by uh, limit as f of x uh, limit of f of x as x tends one plus one plus. It means a, a little bit. Uh, greater than 1. x tends to 1 and x greater than 1. And x can be very near to 1 but less than 1. Okay? So it's not it's noted like limit as x limit as x tends to 1 and x le less than 1. It's it's noted that as limit as x tends 1 minus of f of x. So at first we should know about notation. Notation is limit as x tends a and x less than a. It's written as limit as x tends a minus of f of x. And limit as x tends a and x greater than a of f of x. It's noted like or it's written like x tends a plus of f of x. Also, you should know that. A plus or A minus it doesn't A minus it doesn't mean it ne it's negative or A plus for example 1 plus is 1.1.00 1 .1 blah 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 0 1 it's a little bit greater than 1 but it's positive 1 minus is 0 0.999999 okay it's a little bit less than 1 both are positive both are positive so 1 minus it doesn't mean that it's negative it's a little bit less than 1 okay and for example if you have minus 2 uh, minus minus 2 minus is a little bit less than minus 2 a little bit less than minus 2 it's minus 2.00001 blah 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 minus 2 plus is a little bit greater than minus 2 so it's like minus 1.9999 both are negative so 1 minus it's positive okay uh, uh, the plus here and the minus here are not signs there are remarks or signs that uh, it's one plus it's greater than one one minus is less than one okay and in, uh, in calculation we don't care one plus we use it as one one minus we use it at one always we use uh, five minus or five plus are used are calculated as five okay so at first this is the notation Second thing to calculate the limits to calculate the limits of a certain function so second thing part two of the chapter we are in chapter limits part two to calculate the limits of a certain function, you should know the rules. Rules of the limits. Okay? We will say, let k a non-zero 
real number non-zero it means it's different from zero and it's, real, it's a real number okay so the rules are k over infinity when we say infinity here we need we, need, we mean uh, we mean plus infinity or minus infinity is the same k over infinity equal to zero any number over infinity equal to zero k over zero equal infinity okay uh, it's like opposite of each other but you should know we can't have zero in the denominator we should when you have zero in the denominator you should determine if it's a zero plus zero plus or zero minus you can't have zero exactly in the denominator so the first two rules are any number over infinity any number over infinity is zero any number over zero is infinity okay the two other rules infinity plus or minus any number is equal to infinity infinity times or divide any number equal infinity okay uh, we means by any number here we means k non-zero real number infinity plus or minus k equal infinity infinity times or divide k any real number and any non-real uh, any non-zero real number is infinity and you should know also for example plus infinity squared is a plus infinity uh, radical of plus infinity is plus infinity uh, plus infinity minus infinity square is uh, plus infinity all these uh, all these things are logic for you you can you can just uh, know how to do it okay for example example one if you have the function f of x equal uh, the, the, the function that we had in the activity 2 over x minus 1 we said before x should be not equal to 0 so domain of definition is minus infinity 1 union with 1 plus infinity all the real numbers except one okay you can find you uh, you can find the limit at the all the open bounds of the domain of definition i will start by calculating limit at minus infinity limit as x tends minus infinity of f of x you just when, when you have to calculate limit as x tends any number you just replace this number you just substitute x by this number so here if you have to calculate limit as x tends minus infinity of the function you just replace x by minus infinity minus infinity minus one is minus infinity as we said before minus infinity plus or minus any number is still minus infinity two over infinity the first rule is zero so the limit as minus infinity is zero the second limit is here here is 1 but less than 1 so it's limit as x tends 1 minus limit as x tends 1 minus of f of x Haida, this one is 1 minus so you just replace x by 1 okay by 1 minus but you say 1 minus or 1 plus is the same I mean, it's the same in calculation but when we have a 0 in the denominator we should determine if it's a 0 plus or a 0 minus so limit as x tends 1 minus in the function we just replace x by 1 2 over 1 minus 1 equals 0 we obtain 0 in the denominator so we should know if it's a 0 plus or a 0 minus how can we know if it's a 0 plus or a 0 minus we have to set up a sign table of the denominator only only the denominator the denominator is a first degree binomial it has 1 as a root opposite same so at 1 minus is before 1 before 1 we have a minus so it's 0 minus well, you should notice that 0 minus is always negative because it's less than 0 and 0 plus is always positive because it's greater than 0 you should know this so 2 over 0 is infinity but is it plus infinity or minus infinity positive over negative is negative so it's minus infinity as the same if you did calculate limit as x tends 1 plus of the function f of x you just replace x by 1 the answer is 2 over 1 minus 1 0 you should determine if it's a 0 plus or a 0 minus you look at the sign table x greater than 1 it's after 1 you have a plus so it's 0 plus and the answer is plus infinity why plus infinity because infinity over infinity because plus over plus is a plus positive over positive is positive number over 0 is infinity finally we have to calculate limit as x tends plus infinity of f of x we just replace x by plus infinity plus infinity minus 1 2 over plus infinity is uh, plus infinity minus 1 is plus infinity 2 over infinity is 0 the answer is 0 another example if I have the function f of x equal 2x plus 3 over x minus 2 and as you know the domain is minus infinity 2 union with 2 plus infinity 
let's just write minus x plus 2. Let's, if, you have a, if I have the function uh, 2x plus 3 over minus x plus 2, and I have its domain, and he asked about only, only he asked about limit as x tends uh, 2 minus of f of x. x tends 2 minus of f of x, so I should replace x by 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. I obtain 0 in the denominator, so I should determine if it's a 0 plus or a 0 minus. So on that draft paper, I have to set up the sign table of the denominator, which is 2. Before the root opposite, the sign after the root, or same sign. So at 2 minus, it's before 2, we have a plus, so it's 0 plus. So 7 over 0 plus equal plus infinity. If he asks about limit as x tends 2 plus of the function f of x, we replace x also by 2, we'll obtain 7 over 0. We should know if it's a 0 plus or a 0 minus. So look at the sign table. Um, after 2, 2 plus is after 2, we have a negative sign, so it's 0 minus, and the answer is minus infinity. Okay? This is the basic rules of, uh, this is the basic rule uh, of, these are the basic rules of limit, okay? Uh, after having these, we can, um, we can talk about uh, IF in determinated forms. Part three, the IF forms in determinated forms. In determinated forms are forms that, uh, that have no exact value. Each time it has a different answer. Like the first one is uh, infinity over infinity. It's an, it's, it's an IF. Why it's an IF? Why it's not one by simplifying infinity over infinity? Because the infinity above could be 200,000 billion billion. And the infinity down could be 100,000 billion billion. Okay? So the answer will be 2. But if the infinity in the above is 500,000 billion 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 billion, and the infinity down there is 200,000 billion billion billion, 500,000 billion billion over 200,000 billion billion, for example, for example, it's going to be 5 over 2. The infinity in the numerator is not the same as the infinity in the denominator. That's why it's an IF. Okay, infinity over infinity is IF. Uh, zero over zero is an IF, and always in limits when we say zero, we mean zero plus or zero minus. It's there is no zero exactly in the denominator. Uh, zero times infinity is an IF, and you will ask yourself why zero times infinity is an IF. Zero times any number is zero. Well, this zero is not zero exactly. It's zero plus or zero minus, and you don't know if it's uh, if it's zero point zero 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 one, or if it's zero point zero 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 five. You don't know. And finally, plus infinity, minus infinity. These four forms are determinated forms, and we don't know we don't know its values. Each time it has a different value. Each time. Okay. So what if I got, by calculation, what if I got an IF, like uh, application, let f of x equal 2x minus plus 5 over x minus 1. As you, do, as you know, x should be not equal to 1, so the domain of definition is minus infinity 1 union with 1 plus infinity. Let's start with the first form, infinity over infinity. Infinity over infinity, for example, if I have to calculate limit as x tends minus infinity of the function f of x, you'll need to replace x by minus infinity. 2 times minus infinity minus infinity plus 5 is minus infinity over minus infinity minus 1 is minus infinity. Infinity over infinity is an IF. So what should I do to get the, the correct answer, the right answer? We will, we will find a, a rule after doing that, but when you got infinity over infinity, always you have to factorize and simplify. This one, factorize and simplify both. So, 
if you got infinity over infinity till now we will factorize and simplify equal limit as x tends minus infinity factorize 2x plus 5 how to factorize in this case you have to take the term with the greatest degree as a common factor 2x plus 5 x is the monomial with the greatest degree you take x as a common factor 2x divided by x is 2 5 divided by x is 5 over x that's how you factorize when you have infinity over infinity in the denominator you should take x as a common a common factor you will obtain x divided by x is 1 minus 1 divided by x is 1 over x factorize and simplify I will simplify by x I will I will obtain limit as x tends minus infinity 2 plus 5 over x over 1 minus 1 over x then by replacing x by minus infinity I did factorize I did simplify now I can substitute or replace x by minus infinity 5 5 over minus infinity is a 0 1 over minus infinity is a 0 so what what, sh what I have now is 2 plus 0 over 1 minus 0 is 2 over 1 is 2 that's how we should do if we got infinity over infinity okay for example another example if you have the function f of x equal x squared plus x plus 5 over 3x squared plus 1 okay and he asked of course this function is defined over minus infinity plus infinity because the denominator have no roots has no roots but we will not talk about that now we will calculate what if he asked about limit as x tends plus infinity of f of x so if you did calculate the limit in, man, mentally you will obtain plus infinity plus infinity plus 5 is plus infinity over plus infinity plus 1 plus infinity so it's infinity over infinity if limit as x tends plus infinity of f of x if you did calculate it you will obtain plus infinity over plus infinity it's an if so how can i find the exact value i should factorize and simplify how should i factorize i should take the term uh, as a, with the greatest power as a common factor the term with the greatest power is x squared so x squared divided by x squared is 1 x divided by x squared is 1 over x 5 divided by x squared is 5 over x squared divided by common denominator x squared common factor in the denominator is x squared 3x squared divided by x squared is a 3 1 divided by x squared is 1 over x squared I made a huge a big mistake here what, what is it I didn't write limit always when you have x always when you have x you should write limit we didn't substitute when you when you don't write the word limit when you substitute so I should write a, a limit here I do simplify simplify by x squared okay so I factorize and simplified now I can replace x by infinity let's just see 1 over infinity is 0 5 over infinity is 0 1 over infinity is 0 so the, you, can, you can notice that the, 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 remain, the remaining answer is 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 over 3 plus 0 is 1 over 3 okay so uh, should I always do this should I always do this no you can notice that for the first equation we, we obtain 2 over 1 which is 2x over x which is 2 in the second function I, sorry first function not equation first in the second function we obtained x square you can if, if you notice we obtained x square over 3x square which is 1 over 3 so you can you can either use this method and you should know it because uh, we will have a rule now but it doesn't always work the rule is saying Let's just say property one. This is four. Property one. Mm, let's say four. Property one. Property one is saying let f of x equal 
p of x over q of x with p of x and q of x are two polynomials function if the numerator is a polynomial and the denominator is a polynomial you can say that limit as x tends infinity of f of x instead of replacing and uh, and uh, maybe getting getting infinity over infinity if and then factorizing and simplifying you can directly only add infinity it means plus infinity or minus infinity limit of a function prevent what we call a rational function equal limit when x tends infinity term with the highest or greatest highest degree of p of x over the term with the highest or greatest I think greatest is a better word here degree of q of x so it's a rule if you have a uh, A rational function you only have to find at, at infinity you only have to take the term with the greatest degree in the denominator over the term with the greatest degree in the denominator for example f of, we have f of x equal 2x squared plus 5 over x squared plus 1 and we need to calculate limit as x tends plus infinity of f of x you don't have to replace to obtain an if then to factorize then to simplify you can directly say its limit as x tends plus infinity T term with the highest degree in the in the numerator is 2x square over the term with the highest degree in the denominator is x square 2x square divided by x square you should simplify by x square you should simplify by x square and you obtain 2 and that's it you don't have to factorize, you don't have to simplify, and all these things. For example, another example, if you have f of x equal uh, 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 over 1 minus x. The domain of definition is minus infinity 1 union with 1 plus infinity. What if he asks about limit as x tends plus infinity of the function f of x? So, instead of, factorizing, uh, instead of factorizing and simplifying, you can only take the term that with the highest degree which is 2x square in the numerator with the term with the highest degree in the denominator which is, which is minus x and then you have to simplify you have to simplify so we'll obtain limit as x tends plus infinity 2x square divided by x is 2x over minus 1 look I still have x I'm still writing limit after substituting or, or after obtaining uh, the result, the, the answer as a real number, I stop writing limit, okay? But when, whenever you have x, you should write limit, okay? So, I will replace x by, minus inf by plus infinity. 2 times plus infinity is plus infinity. Divided by minus 1 is minus infinity, okay? This is the first case of if. I think it's enough for today. Uh, tomorrow we'll, we will uh, continue by doing or by explaining the fourth case plus infinity minus infinity and then we will talk about zero over zero and zero times infinity okay thank you for uh, listening and we'll see you in class bye